different ideas about this. Well, I'll, I'll talk about this after the recording. Yeah. <laughs> Very interesting. Yeah, it was, uh, it, it, it was something that kept us busy and kept most, mostly, we were mostly kept sane by that, you know. Otherwise, we'd have gone crazy. Yeah. Because we were really crazy about our daughter. Uh, uh, yes. It was one of those things where we even got, so I guess, worshipped her, you know. Yeah. Thought she could do no wrong, all that kind of stuff, you know. It was a, it was a really, and she was extremely talented. Yeah. Anything she touched, mm -hmm. she could go to, she, she could do well at. Mm -hmm. I know when, when she first went to school, she couldn't get into first grade. Mm -hmm. Would you believe in the Rindner District, and I guess it was uh, 56, 1956, uh, her birthday was the 16th of June. They cut it off at the 15th of September for her to go to uh, kindergarten. <laughs> they wouldn't let her go. So I said, I don't want her to miss a whole year. You know, just for one day. Mm -hmm. So instead of putting her in public school, we put her in Hope Lutheran School mm -hmm. in St. Anne. Mm -hmm. uh, and she went there the first three three years, I guess it was. At the end of the third year, uh, teacher told us, well, uh, She's not going to learn anything the next year in the fourth grade. I said, why is that? She's, <laughs> She's done it all. She says she already knows it. <laughs> I said, uh, oh, how does that happen? Well, it happens that the third and the fourth grade were in the same class. Uh, so my daughter would take both years in one, you know. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, then I said, how could that be? At the same time, a little before that, we found out my daughter couldn't see. Couldn't see? She, she could sit in a chair and couldn't see the blackboard. Oh. She had pro eye pro I eyesight pro. Uh-huh. And I said, well, how in the heck is she learning anything? And she says, uh, uh, she's a smart little girl. So I said, uh, well, in that case... So my wife was one of those gung-ho people, so she said, so we took her to Warshu and had her tested. Mm -hmm. Got a high IQ, got a money, I think it was a 163 or something like that. It was pretty high. Mm -hmm. My wife and I were down to <laughs> 110, 120 <laughs> range, you know, and we thought that was pretty good. And uh, 163, boy. I said, uh, and I, I said that must be the reason that she can learn even she can't see because she remembers what the right. teacher said. Right. Uh, oh boy! So we got her glasses. So by the third grade, she had glasses. Mm -hmm. It was a, uh, it was really amazing uh, that she could do so well. And then finally, we brought her over into Booter School in the Rittner District. And of course, my wife wasn't satisfied with the Rittner District. She didn't think Rittner District was the greatest school district in the world. Mm -hmm. She said they were behind time, the old fogies, and I don't know what else. And I said, well, what do you want to do about it? They said, let's move to a district that's better. I said, what would that be? She said, well, in the education circles, they think Parkway is a really good school district. I said, uh, well, okay, so we went out to hunt in the house out in this district. So we uh, we looked all over, we looked in uh, Bell Ridge and all over, you know, mm -hmm. Creep Corps, several subdivisions. Mm -hmm. We couldn't find a good plot. Mm -hmm. So one Sunday we wake up, look in the real estate section of the post and there was a those subdivisions starting just off Woods Mill Road between Olive and Ladue. Mm -hmm. And we, well, let's go after church. We went out, 
drove in here and they had uh, number three through number 12 display houses. They had on all, all cars of theater were display houses. Mm. So we went in several of them. I went in number eight down here that they're going to have the sale at. And uh, she, <laughs> my wife walked around the uh, first floor and she said, man, this is just what I want. Mm. I said, well, aren't you going to look at the upstairs? Oh, is they have upstairs? <laughs> yeah, it's upstairs. I, I said, well, I, I guess that's it. So we came up here and, and, and talked. They had their office right across the street, number 11. We went over there, and and in August of 63, we bought the house. Hmm. We're going to build it on lot 70. That's where that 70 grammar comes from. Uh -huh. And uh, she said, so they started building it, and then she took a job out in Parkway wow. teaching. <laughs> and so she'd come by every day and watch them build it. Mm -hmm. So they did. She came by and built it, watched them build it every day. And if something was wrong, she'd tell them. You know. <laughs> and anyway, uh, <laughs> after we uh, uh, we moved in in first of February '64. It was not a, uh, it was late because they had a strike. The building trades had a strike that year. So it threw everybody's house in the summer and they threw everybody's house. We were supposed to get in the first of November, but you know, the strike threw it back three months. So we finally got in the first of February and it worked pretty good. Uh, uh, only my daughter didn't get to live here long. Uh, she uh, she passed away uh, soon after that. Soon after that, she did live here. Yeah, a short while. while. They had a room upstairs for her. Oh, you have it upstairs. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. Three rooms up there in a bath and a long hall mm -hmm. and an attic. It wasn't an attic. Per se, mm -hmm. it was a dead space. Mm -hmm. uh, my wife is not one of those letting space go to waste. Mm -hmm. So in the bathroom, <laughs> she cut a hole in the wall leading into this blank area. They just had rafters and uh, uh, insulation and so forth. And she cut a hole in there, laid a floor in there, did it herself. Oh. And, uh... This was before you took the woodworking craft. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, you know, as far, uh, it was not a, a, uh, she didn't finish it. My wife was a starter, but not a finisher. Mm -hmm. So I had to get a carpenter to come in and, uh, finish up the opening. Mm -hmm. She put the floor in, but finish up the opening, put some electrical in, mm -hmm. and so forth, you know. So she'd start something and I'd finish. Mm -hmm. Same thing in St. Anne when we lived there. Uh -huh. She wanted to remodel the kitchen. She starts in, tears it all up, then I have to get somebody <laughs> in to finish it up. It was it was it it, it was one it was one way she got things done, I guess. Uh -huh. And uh well, so, she got the fun of starting. Yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, so now we, we we got a lot of stuff in there, in this attic. Uh, mm -hmm. We used to, we used to, after we stopped selling, mm -hmm. uh, we had a lot of surplus stuff. Yeah. And besides, we'd buy something and didn't have any place to put it. We used to go down to the 66 drive-in. 66 right there. Yeah, oh, down in, yeah. Uh, I forget, down near Fredericktown or Farmington or someplace down there. On uh, Highway 55 or 60. No. Uh, it wasn't 44. Right. Uh, it was that other, 61. 61. I forgot the name. 67. <laughs> Peebley. 
Uh -huh. We used to go to a uh, outdoor flea market there. Uh -huh. Peebly Flea Market. Still there, I think. Anyway, to, to set up our table, we had...